Now, the founding fathers would be for, and founding women, founding moms, you know, let's face it, this is, you know, now, and, and, and there are plenty of people who can fill that void. We need people that have a far reach. People who can, through their, their television or their radio shows, can reach out to millions of us that can unite us. Because right now what we have is we have people like, and Dorothy was kind enough to give me a little list here because I told you I'm bad with names. You have Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, Mark Levin, uh, Monica Crowley, Rush Limbaugh, Mark, uh, or Michelle uh, Malkin, Glenn Beck. Now a lot of these people have huge egos. I, I mean, look, that's a given. And, and they're always out there selling a book. They're, they're doing a movie, they're, you know, a film clip or something. They're, they're doing something they're promoting, but they are conservatives and they are patriots. And, and I do believe that. So in order for us to do what we have to do, we have to use every resource that's available to us. When, when the revolution started, it's not like they had all this ammunition and all this guns and everything that they need and everything fell right into place. They scrambled. They were, they were grabbing anything they could, whatever they had, whatever they needed to accomplish their mission. And we have to do the same. As patriots, we have to address these people. These guys are not like gods on Mount Olympus to where they're untouchable or where they're unreachable. They are people like us. They say they believe in the things we believe in. They preach this to us. God knows they've made enough money off of it because we listen to them. We support their sponsors. We buy their books. So here's the deal. If you guys, referring to these entities, these uh, conservative patriot talk show people, if they really believe this, then this is their charge. This is what we have to do. We have to do what we can, which is to petition them and to say them through letters, through phone calls. Maybe this will get on, on YouTube, and, and maybe the message will, will get out to them. Maybe it'll get further than just this group here. That where we tell them, we don't ask them, we tell them that, look, here's the deal. We followed you for long enough, and I don't know about you, but I'm done talking, not here. But I am done talking. I am done listening to people talk. Every one of these talk shows, every one of these um, interviews, uh, you know, they're, all we're doing is talking the problem to death. Talking never solved anything. Action solves problems. Actually doing something. If I have to listen to another person get on there and start talking about the list of problems, I mean, I'm done because we know what the problems are. All of us do. That's why I'm not up here giving you a list of everything that every one of these politicians have done wrong. You know it. You could probably recite it like if you were little reciting your ABCs. IRS, Benghazi, you know, I mean, pick it, whatever. Constitution being spit on. So yes, we have to petition these people. We have to say to them and, and what they have to do. Because this has been tried and, and the idea is right. And, and a lot of times people have good ideas and they try it, but they're just underpowered. They don't have enough oomph behind them to do this. We need not a march on Washington. We need an occupation of Washington for three days. 